Hey there yoga family, Kia Williams here coming at you with another yoga tutorial. This tutorial is all about side planks. So we're going to talk about benefits and then I'm going to show you four different variations of side plank for you to practice at home or when you go to your next yoga class. So first off the benefits. Side plank is a really good upper body strengthener. Not only are we going to be strengthening our hands, our fingers, our wrists, our arms, all the way through our shoulders, but when it comes to strengthening our core, we're going to be working the side of the core or our oblique muscles, whereas the center plank works more of our um, front core, our rectus abdominis muscles. We're going to be working the obliques on both sides. So we're going to get um, a strengthening to one side and on the opposite side we're going to get a nice stretch when we do our uh, side plank. So I'm going to show you a couple of variations of side plank starting from beginner to more advanced. So starting from beginner we're going to come to a modified plank. Right? Well I'm going to keep my back knee, in this case my right knee down on the mat I'm going to bring my right hand underneath of my nose and then I'm going to bring the left hand to my hip and open up towards the sidewall. As soon as I do that, I'm going to lengthen that top leg, in this case my left leg, and I want to make sure that my right wrist is not directly underneath of my shoulder. So here would be directly underneath of my shoulder. That's a little too much twerk on my shoulder if I do that. I'm going to move that hand a little bit further forward so I have a little bit more leverage. This would be your first option for side plank. You can do whatever you wish with the hand. You can pull the hand up here or for a deeper stretch in the left side of the waist, you're going to reach the hand overhead. All right? So if you're going more into full plank, we're going to bring this uh, left hand to our hip and step, stack the feet on top of each other. So here I'm really drawing the side waist up and I want to kind of turn myself into a rainbow here and not sink the hips down. Lifting the hips up, reaching the hand up over ear or overhead or overhead. <laughs> so first option here for more advanced plank. If you want a little bit more, then we're going to bring this foot, left foot in this case, to the inner groin. So we're going to take kind of a tree plank and continue to reach that arm up and over the head. Final option here is to take this extended hand to toe pose with our side plank and extend the leg up towards the ceiling. Keep pressing into the palm, lifting the hips, it's getting hard to talk in here. And then when you're ready, you're going to bring that leg back down, turn yourself into center plank, bring the knees down, and then take a break in child's pose. Bring the arms beside the body, roll the wrist around, and then when you're ready, come on back to center. So of course, if you're practicing this at home, you're going to do that on both sides. So you get equal amount of strengthening and stretch on both sides. And if you're practicing it in class and the teacher asks you to do go into side plank, you know which variation you can do and which one you can start to work towards. If you have any questions about this pose or any other posture, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Drop me a line and let me know. Or if you have any other posture you'd like to see on a yoga tutorial, please feel free to let me know about that as well. Until next time, guys, see you around. Bye.